What's going on guys? Welcome to what has sold on eBay for me over the weekend. Got to cover up that. Here's my little shipping station. Got all my free supplies over here. I don't know if y'all know, but you can get free supplies if it's priority. Got more stuff there. All kinds of stuff, some extra boxes. Got the little pup helping me. Stormy, say hi puppy. Aww. All right boys, so the first item, I got a couple already packed up. I'm gonna go over those. The first item is a Buck Gardner Double Cross Acrylic Duck Collar. Got these from Ready Set Resale calling out, I believe it was him, the Dick Sporting Good, I could be wrong, I think it was him calling out the Dick Sporting Good clearance event. I went there and randomly was looking through the store, I found these for 75 to 90% off. So I believe I got this for $7. Just sold one for 18 plus shipping, so not too bad right here. All right, so I'm gonna go over the other ones that sold um, right here. We had a Reggie Wayne jersey. This was from my jersey load, where I used to get a ton of jerseys. Only sold it for $4.75. Um, just needed to get rid of it. It hasn't sold in over two months, so not too shabby there. Another item was uh, I helped a guy move and he just gave me all this stuff. It was a Victoria's Secret jacket. It only sold for six bucks. Clear profit, not huge, but we had to get rid of it. This was a good sell right here. It was a Columbia PFG. Got this at the thrift for, I believe, a dollar and it sold for 15 plus shipping. So not too bad there. Uh, this was a jacket when I used to get clothes at Goodwill. I don't really shop at Goodwills anymore for uh, flipping items just because they cost too much compared to what the thrift does. But I got this for, I believe, 7 to $8, sold for 15 so not too crazy. And uh, yeah, that's the duck thing that just sold, and we will go over the rest. So this was a sick Tommy shirt I found. Honestly, it should have sold for 10 to 15 plus shipping. Guy sent me 10 and uh, I just accepted it. I honestly might cancel this order um, because he sent me 10 and I thought it was 10 plus shipping, but eBay doesn't show that I don't think. And uh, I just accepted it, but I got it for like a buck. So even selling it at five, I still make profit. It's just not a lot. And I know this is worth way more. So let me know in the comments what y'all think I should have done, canceled it and resold for hire or just shipped it. All right, so here is another Tommy Bahama piece. Let me pull this off. It is a reversible uh, one-fourth zip jacket. Not too bad. Gray with the red. I believe it's a bigger size. It's a 2XL. So this thing sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Uh, not too bad. Uh, got it for a buck at the thrift, so. You know, my goal is to sell 10 to 20 shirts a day with, you know, 10 to 12 to 15 sales price. So I'm profiting around 10 bucks per item and I'm getting it for a dollar. Um, Cause I am undercutting a lot of these people that are selling these items. Some are selling them for, you know, 20 to 25, but they're probably waiting longer because I listed this higher and just waited like a couple weeks and it didn't sell. As soon as I dropped it to 10 bucks, it sold almost instantly, so. Let me know what y'all think. All right, next item was a Tony Parker San Antonio Spurs NBA jersey by, I guess, just NBA. Uh, yeah, nice little, uh, this was just a leftover item, one that didn't sell for high dollars on my jersey load. So I just took an offer of 650, so it's pure profit to me and uh, moving another unit, you know, the, uh, the little units. It's not a lot, but they do add up. We had 13 sales over the weekend. Um, I gotta add it up real quick and do the math on that and we'll see what it came out to be. Okay, so I actually just bundled that one up and forgot to show you guys. Got to show you on the screen. It was a Baron Davis OG New Orleans Hornets jersey. Uh, selling this for a friend. He gave me about 20 items to sell some jerseys and hats, so I get 20% of this. So I made like four or five bucks, nothing crazy. And by the way guys, I canceled this order because this thing is just too sick. I mean, it's, look at it, it's just beautiful. For five bucks, no way. I relisted it for 15 plus shipping. It's a large and like brand new condition. Feels super smooth, super clean. And I got it for the dollar. All right, boys, so here's another interesting find, a E-Force Real Racquetball bag. 
Got this. I started to look at the bag section at my Goodwill and I found some nice things there. I found a brand new Wilson bag. Um, but yeah, this is super nice, super clean. Um, it's a racquetball bag, inside super clean. Smells good actually, it smells really good. It's, it's almost like open box in a way, like it's great condition. Got it for two, selling it for 18. Uh, not crazy profit, but hey, easy profit, you know what I'm saying? Man, the cool thing is it fit perfectly in this box, free box, so let's get it shipped. All right, next item is a simple Cabela's hunting, hiking, outdoor tee. Super high quality, super thick. It is a 2XL. Um, I started picking some of this stuff up, found it at the thrift. Um, got it for a dollar, two dollars. Only sold for seven fifty. But hey, like I say, they add up. All right, last but not least, an Adidas One Fourth Fleece Notre Dame Youth. Sold for five bucks, and I got it for right around a dollar. Not crazy, but my theory, theory is I do it kind of like Amazon and Netflix. I do uh, lower price per customer. Like I get, you know, five to 10 to 15 bucks per sale, but I'm undercutting a lot of the market. So I'm getting a lot more sales, moving a lot more products versus putting this for 20 and waiting a couple months instead of just selling, you know, five of these within a couple months for five to 10. So hope you guys liked the video. Um, subscribe, thumbs up, leave any comments or, you know, suggestions you guys got. We got all that. We got all that to post in a garage full of clothes to post. So gonna be a super busy week, but always peace out.